In the Oregon outback, water is the key to survival. This is the story of the connection between farmers and ranchers and two unique fish species in the Warner Lakes watershed. Here, it's not easy being a native fish. The basin is an environment of extremes. In the spring, rain and warmer days melt the snowpack into raging torrents. By late summer, low water streams may be a trickle. Resilient native fish have evolved to adapt to these extreme conditions. Living in the outback is also a challenge to Warner Basin farmers and ranchers who depend on the basin's flows for their livelihoods. They know in a closed basin system, water is precious. Water diversions were built to sustain the working landscape in the face of inconsistent flows. But for the fish, there were unintended consequences, especially for two species of native fish that exist in the Warner Basin. There's the Warner Sucker. It was listed as threatened on the endangered species list in 1985. Then there's the Warner Lakes Red Band Trout listed as a federal and Oregon sensitive species. Once they were abundant, but over the past century, their numbers have declined. They have struggled with habitat and stream modification. Their historical habitats have been blocked by diversion dams and at times trapped by unscreened diversion ditches. In particular, Honey, Deep and 20 Mile Creeks but unlike extreme conditions, diversions are something that people can change. The Warner Basin Aquatic Habitat Partnership was created to improve connectivity and stream habitat. Partners collaborating on a plan for recovery for these two species while assisting ranchers. The partners include six organizations in collaboration with local landowners and irrigators in the Warner Basin. Today's partnership invested in new research and unique designs that have shown encouraging success. As of January 2019, two new fish passage projects have been installed on Honey Creek. Deep Creek is being adapted with irrigation structure replacements and a rock ramp fishway. 20 Mile Creek developments include improved fish passage at multiple locations. Monitoring data shows that fish passage improvements are working and important to the recovery of these fish. Warner suckers have passed through diversions that formerly were barriers. Based on these results, 10 additional projects are planned in the next six years on the three creeks. Success of the program depends on the willing participation and support of landowners and water users who manage the land. They see the benefits, both tangible and intangible, Old, rusted, leaking diversions are replaced with newer ones that are safer and easier to operate and maintain. Here is a chance for connections to make a big difference by recovering listed fish species and assisting the stewards of the Warner Basin's local farmers and ranchers. The Warner Basin Aquatic Habitat Partnership's 2018 Strategic Action Plan sets a course to meet the recovery criteria for the fish. Connections are the pathway to success. The collaboration of habitat partners 
and the local population. Connecting stream to lake to stream to restore historical fish pathways. Recovering imperiled species is a challenge, but for these two fish and Warner Basin stakeholders, recovery is well on its way.